What's up guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a short and sweet video for you all. I just want to get on here and talk about a few things with you guys. So the first thing that I want to let you guys know about is that I went ahead and I created a guide for those of you interested in like the laboratory science career field. And so this guide contains like basic information that is helpful for someone who's interested in this career field. And it basically is broken up into three main sections. So I'm gonna go over what those sections are really quickly so the first section is just information that is helpful to know about this space so it talks about what the ASCP cert is which states require it and which states don't require it in order for you to work in this profession it talks about different programs and I give you the different programs that you can look into um, throughout the US in case you are interested in studying this field for college or maybe you're in college and you want to um, switch fields or you maybe you have a degree and you're looking for programs that you could possibly apply to for like a poster or things like that so I have a list of schools that you guys can look into and look into their programs and throughout the guide as well I include different links that you can literally click on right from the page and it'll take you to these external links that you can find more and more information if you want to read about it some more you want a deeper understanding the second section of this guide is basically a resume breakdown so I explain basically what you want to include in your resume what you don't want to include so it's just basically letting you know what is needed and what's not needed and what's optional and what isn't optional so it's just kind of like a um, best practice in a way and it's literally the same things that I follow when I'm putting together my resume and then the third section of this guide is basically resume examples and templates so once you get to the third section you can see the second section apply in these templates if that makes sense so that way you can kind of see it in action and know exactly um, what I was what I was referring to and what I explained in the second section and one of the templates is literally based off of one of my resumes obviously I changed around like the places that I worked and like my the name and stuff like that but it's literally how I applied to my jobs and I did not have any lab experience so that resume is useful to those who don't have any lab experience and I also included some more templates that show what it may look like once you do get maybe a uh, lab experience inside of school or maybe you have lab experience outside of school and the formats um, while it includes like the same information it is like formatted differently that way you guys can like have a little bit of option and see that you can switch up things when you're creating a resume so this like I said will be helpful to those who do not have any type of lab experience at all and it'll also be helpful to those who may have like a little bit of lab experience and then you're still trying to find jobs in this field and anything that is not mentioned in the guide it has likely already been mentioned on my YouTube channel so I will link the playlist above um, that has all of my like lab videos that way if you're looking for something specific you can go ahead and watch that and then down below in the description box I will link where you can get the guide and the same thing is vice versa if it's not mentioned in my YouTube videos it's likely mentioned in the guide below and like I said I got a couple questions about templates and like if I can review your resume and things like that so this guide and the templates that I include in the in this guide will help you along with things like that so you won't need me to like you know wait for me to review your resume or give you feedback and things like that and then next I want to take this time to thank you all for subscribing to my channel we hit 1k a couple of weeks ago and even though it is a small milestone I am glad that we all got there so if you are an OG subscriber or if you're new to my channel and just started watching the videos I still want to say thank you thank you for subscribing thank you for watching sharing liking and commenting on my videos it means a lot I do love making these videos for you all and I appreciate you guys for sticking around and subscribing and things like that so as a way to say thank you I want to give you guys some Starbucks that is on me and so if you go down the description box below you will see a link to my Instagram and if you follow me on Instagram and just keep up with my story I will be posting a Starbucks gift card to my stories and then all you have to do is literally just go to Starbucks place your order Order, show them the barcodes have them scan it and then your order will be paid for if you do go get Starbucks definitely take a picture of it tag me in it so I can repost it and say thank you guys personally let me know that you guys are enjoying it let me know what you guys got a couple things I did want to say about it though is the first thing is to be courteous when you are ordering 
please keep your order around like six, seven dollars or less. That way other people will have a chance to use the gift card as well because once the money on the gift card runs out, that will be all, it won't be reloaded afterwards. So yeah, just be courteous and think of other people and don't use up all of the funds on like a $17 order. Since this is mainly to thank my YouTube subscribers, even though this is going to be posted on my Instagram story, I'm not going to specify what the gift card or what the barcode is for. So the only way that you will know that this is a gift card barcode that you can use at Starbucks is if you actually watch this video and you know, exactly what you can use it for if that makes sense so I definitely recommend once you see this video head on over to my story and then go ahead and head to Starbucks and get your order although this is mainly for um, YouTube I will post about it eventually on my story letting people know what it's for but I want to give my youtubers who watch my video a head start and so I will post the barcode I will wait a couple of hours and then I will post on my Instagram what the barcode is for. And then I think I'm gonna also go ahead and once the money runs out of the, on the gift card, I will um, make a, another post on my story letting you guys know like the gift card is empty. That way you don't go to Starbucks and you try and use it and it doesn't work. So yeah, that's what I decided to do as a thank you for hitting 1K. That's all thanks to you guys. I think that's everything I have to say in this video. But overall, I wanna say thank you guys for subscribing watching as always leave some likes comments and things like that down below if you do go get Starbucks like I said please tag me in your stories on Instagram and also let me know down below in the comments if you do go get it and what you've got let me know what type of videos you guys want to see moving forward and I definitely want to make sure I'm doing videos that you guys want to see thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye your place is like